Wait, why are we talking about Intel 14th gen already? I swear that 13th gen literally just launched. Wait, what? Raptor Lake launched how long ago now? What is time anymore? Time moving quickly and existential dread aside, we have a lot of details about what Intel 14th gen, codenamed Meteor Lake, will be like. And so far, it looks like it's going to completely decimate its predecessor. Oh wait a second, Raptor Lake, Meteor Lake, I get you Intel. I I see what you did there. But these chips will be no laughing matter, because apparently we'll see a 50% increase in efficiency over last gen, which will give way for some huge increases in performance, which in itself will be helped dramatically by Intel's new tiling system, which will be most likely very akin to AMD's chiplet design, which is quite ironic seeing how Intel took jabs at AMD and its chiplet designs, but huh. <laughs> How the tables have turned. And these many tiles will open up a whole new world of possibility for Intel, and we should be seeing some pretty insane stuff. Especially seeing how one of these tiles that we could see in these chips is an Intel Arc GPU. That's right, we could be seeing integrated Arc graphics as early as 14th gen. That in itself will be absolutely huge for integrated graphics, making them actually not bad. But of course it's Intel we're talking about so it can't be all good because what Intel giveth they take it away as well and we'll be most likely looking at new motherboards to support these Intel 14th gen chips. Yes, goodbye LG1700 and hello socket 2551, the alleged next socket for Intel's desktop CPUs. And granted, while it isn't as catchy of a name as socket 1700, it does represent a 50% increase in total pin count. And who knows what Intel would be able to achieve with all those extra pins of beta and power going to the CPU package. So while we don't know too much else about Intel Meteor Lake right now, it already looks absolutely fantastic. And whatever form all of this awesome tech ends up taking when the CPUs will most likely release later this year, it will be definitely worth the wait. And when it does get released, I'm sure it would have made Mr. Moore proud. Rest in peace, Gordon. You will be missed. But let me know what you think of Intel 14th Gen so far down in the comments below. And while we're still here, maybe check out my Patreon as well, because even a single dial month truly goes a long way in supporting the work we do here. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, and Lavroniak, Valdos Velka, Max Omni, Shane Woodcroft, Lansby, and Sharon Odgun. Down in the video description below, you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in whatever i make next goodbye everyone good bye